Hi. So um, usually we work with children, and uh, since the beginning of this uh, um, you know, session, I found that everybody is taking setting very seriously. Yeah, so um, the audience that we work with never sits so seriously. They usually sit on our laps. So I thought just to break the monotony of what we are doing, let's start with the story. And that's what we do. <laughs> uh, so this story comes to us from... <coughs> yeah, please come. Sorry. So uh, this story comes to us from the, the Wildies who are near Maharashtra. And uh, so there are two brothers. Uh, and the story is called Kahankar Ahankar. Yeah, so there are two brothers. One brother loves to tell stories, and the other brother loves to listen to stories. And since they were ch uh, children, they used to listen to stories and tell, and they kept growing up. And everybody was so fed up with them because they would waste the entire day just listening to stories. So when they grew up, their parents obviously said, let's get them married, they will do something good in their life. But once they were married, they continued the same tradition, one would tell stories and the other would listen. So that the wives got very upset now, and they said, why don't you do something really uh, useful? Why don't you take these, these cows and go into the forest and, and, and graze them? So they took their flock out into the forest, and they went deep into the forest. Several days went by, months went by, years went by, but the two brothers didn't return. So one day, they sent a search team deep into the forest. And when they went inside, they found on one big stone, two skeletons. Both of them were sitting like this. Now, they realized this must be the two brothers because they had forgotten to even eat or to even sleep because they were so uh, mesmerized listening and telling stories. Now, after all the Rona Dhona was done, they decided to bring the skeletons back but now there was a big issue. The issue was, which skeleton was which brother? Because unless you are able to tell that, how do you know that uh, uh, whose, whose wife is to get which, which skeleton? So if I were to ask you this question, how would you tell me which skeleton was which brother? Let me do one thing. So that's the question. <coughs> and we usually ask our children who we do the story, story set. I will hand over to Karishma now, and to the end of, towards the end of this presentation, maybe we can get the answer of with, who is with Skelly. Yeah? So, um, on behalf of the Kahani project, I'm just going to take a minute and set up the presentation. Uh, you heard Ajay telling you a story, that's what we do. We tell stories basically for children who can't see. So they don't have access to books that normal children read and uh, get their storytelling time from they have to listen to stories. And what we do is we record children's literature from the Creative Commons domain and put it up on our website for free listening. And the children uh, <coughs> at the blind school in Koregaon Park in Pune get to listen to it on little MP3 players and this in, is, is slowly building. So this is a process that we usually follow. We have people reading out stories and recording them onto uh, Audacity software, which is um, open source. Then we, or we also have people recording stories in a car. Um, that happened in Bangalore a while ago. And then we have the children at the blind school listening to these stories, They're completely wrapped in uh, listening to these stories. And they also tell stories themselves. So every now and then, they get the chance to record the stories that they hear and they enjoy. All the stories are then hosted on the Kahani Project website for free listening. Now let me tell you a little bit about the website. We have a WordPress site and a SoundCloud channel. Over the last three years since we've been functioning, we've had over 400 stories on our website. These stories have had over 29,000 plays on our SoundCloud channel. Uh, the listens come from five continents, 100 countries, 2,000 cities, and we have over 100 volunteer storytellers, so all our stories are crowdsourced. Um, what we're coming up with now is very similar to what um, the Citizens Archive of Pakistan uh, was doing where community listening spaces were created for oral tradition. We want to do th that with children's stories or stories in general. So this is a listening post that we're working on. It's a simple mechanism where there's going to be a board with a colorful illustration, a smart uh, phone with uh, <coughs> stories all loaded onto them, and headphones and speakers according to how you want to listen to the story. These will be in public spaces for the community to access them and we're very excited about this project. 
Among the other things we're working on is tactile books, so more people can access stories. <coughs> we want to start an online bookstore where um, we'll, well, we'll tell you about it if you ask us. And uh, we want to also have a Kahani app which will run on smartphones so that again, more people will have access to stories. Now, Ajay is going to see what the end of the story is. Okay, going back to the two brothers, because children wouldn't leave you if you didn't complete the story. So how do you determine which skeleton is which brother? So they actually call the wise man from the village. Every village is a wise man. So they called the wise man and the wise man said, why don't you take these two skeletons and throw them into the water? The skeleton which sings is the storyteller. And the skeleton that surf, that, sorry, the skeleton which sings is the person who was listening to stories. And the skeleton that surfaces is the, skeleton, is the person who was telling the stories. You know why? Because when you listen to stories, you're absorbing the energies from the universe. And when you're telling, you're giving them away. I just gave away my energies to you. If you don't go and tell stories to children, you're going to sing, I'm going to float. Thank you so much.